Hi, it's Phil here from Avite My Ride, and in this video I'm going to show you how to repair tears in suede or Alcantara seats. Recently I tore one of the Alcantara seats in my car and I was absolutely gutted. But I'd read that you could do a pretty effective repair using fabric glue and maybe even with a small piece of patching material to go underneath as a backer. So I gave this a try and whilst the result wasn't absolutely perfect, I mean you can still see the tear if you know what you're looking for, it's certainly a lot better than the really unsightly tear that was in the seat. Also with the repair in place it'll prevent it from becoming worse. Okay, so let's get to it, here's how I did it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is tidy up the torn piece of material. In this case, the torn piece is stretched slightly and it won't fit back into the gap that it came from. It's also got raggedy edges that will need to be tidied up. So in order for it to fit back down into the gap again properly, the edges are going to need to be snipped carefully using sharp scissors. Take your time here because this is the most important part of the job that's going to determine how good the finished article looks. What I do is I snip away a small amount of material after deciding where it's too large and then I push it back down into the gap again and then just keep repeating this process and just cut off very small amounts at a time because you can't put the material back on again. Once you've snipped and checked again multiple times you should be able to push the torn piece of material back down into the gap and it should have quite a smooth even edge now. With that done we're ready to glue the torn piece back into place using fabric glue. Here I'm using a small piece of tie wrap or a zip tie as an applicator for the glue. I'm applying the glue to the seat base first, making sure that I get it on nice and evenly and all the way to the edges. If the edges have lifted slightly then even slightly under the edges if possible. Next I'll apply the glue to the underside of the torn piece of material in exactly the same way. You need to give it a good coating so that it soaks in, but avoid applying too much because it'll squeeze out excessively around the edges when we put the piece of material down. Now that we've got the glue applied, we can push the torn piece of material back down into the gap it came from and smooth it into place. If a small amount of glue comes out at the edges, then don't worry, just have a damp cloth on hand and smooth it away at the edges and wipe it away. Once you're happy with the fit and the torn sections being pushed back down into place, you can use an iron to flatten the material and to start drying the glue. Now place a piece of cloth over the repair area to protect it from the heat of the iron. With the iron set to a low heat, gently move it over the repair area and smooth the material down until the glue starts to set. I found it easiest to start working on half of the torn section first and once it was ironed down and flat to move on to the rest of it. Now that the patch is completely stuck down and flat, you can use a hairdryer to finish drying off the glue. I spent about 15 minutes doing this because you need to make sure that the glue's completely gone off before moving to the next stage. With the glue completely dry, you can now move on to the brushing. So I used a suede brush to brush the pile and to blend in the edges. You need to make sure the glue's completely dry before doing this, otherwise it'll just lift the torn section back up again. With the brushing completed, you can now just move to smoothing down the area by hand and removing any excess fluff. So that's the repair completed and from a distance you can't really see the edges of the repair at all. And now it isn't at risk of tearing further. Okay, so what you've just seen me do is a, um, an Alcantara seat repair if the top layers are being torn and the backing fabric still in place. So obviously what you have to do is what I've just shown you is tidy up those edges and you know get it glued down really nicely. Um, but what if the uh, backing uh, fabric was torn as well? So this is what it'd look like, that would be the foam there. Well in that case what you need is you just need a nice um, thin piece of fabric that has a nice backing surface on it and you cut it to shape about 10 millimeters larger than what the tear is. You don't want it bigger than that because in a minute you're going to have to reach under and smooth it out all out so that you can't see the edges. And then you literally um, start to poke that through the uh, tear onto the foam and you get it located nicely so that you can feel that it's around the edges and you make sure all of the um, extreme corners are um, laid down flat because otherwise you'll be able to see them you see. And once you've got that how you want it, then all you have to do is what we've just described 
So you apply some uh, glue to your, um, in this case, a little piece of uh, cable tie and you pry up the edge slightly and you apply the glue all around the edges. So you kind of reach under there and, and do all of the edges like that. But you're not doing this piece at the moment, you're just doing the patch. And once you've got glue um, all around the edges there, then it's similar to the process I just showed you. So you put that on to protect your suede or your Alcantara, similar to what we were doing inside the car. And iron it down again, exactly the same as we did before. And give that a bit of time to, um, to dry. And then when we come back to it, all the edges of this material should be um, stuck down now, which means that your backing patch is stuck down. And then it's just the same as what I've just shown you. So you would tidy up those edges and get, and then now you would go ahead and glue the patch itself. As always, all tools and materials used will be in the description below. If you liked the video, then please give me a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more of my videos. And thanks for watching. I hope it helps some of you out there. Okay, catch you next time.